another really neat one that you can do is um, let's say you were curious to know like what the different view like alleys are of your building or from like a specific point on your site um, so to do that uh, it, there's a really simple way to make ladybug generate that for you so if you look under this one you have the view rows so it's number three ladybug view rows um, this one we can plug that guy in and it's pretty small so it just wants to know the context the plane that you're looking in and the radius of how far you want this view cone to extend out so and then out of it you get out you get view rows you get the blocked views and then like the visible angles so then you can export those separately and do stuff with them so let's say you wanted to use this to generate your build, building form like you have the context and you need to create like something you could use this technically as like the starting point um, so let's move this up here so we get a little bit closer to our context so remember here we had context right so we can plug that in and then radius let me just put like 200 to start off I'm not sure how big it needs to be um, so notice it started it over here and so if I make that bigger we get like different stuff and then I don't want that to be my center point the real origin I want to pick like that corner of my building so I'm gonna create a point just using this a parameter I was I just want to load like a point from, from Rhino or just create one so you can tell it to set one point even if you don't have one created it'll let you make one and let's just like click there and then now I'm gonna set that as the plane so now all of a sudden you look and see it's created that view cone and if we move that point to a different spot we can say set one point here now it'll update and give you different view cones so and then the radius is just how far you want them to go out so if you have them like really tight it doesn't really make a difference because you can see everywhere but once you start seeing out past that's you could say we chose this site because it's the most visible from the farthest or something like that and you can use this to create a series of diagrams where it can look like a lot of work but it really isn't because it's just moving that point and you can say look we tested four locations for our building and we chose the one that was most visible or if it's like something ugly like a mechanical room you say like we picked here to put this generator because you can't see it from anywhere um, or you could do this for like studying building heights and things like that um, so that one is super easy and helps just start generating stuff for you so that it gets that question about how you started your building or why are you choosing to do this and it puts kind of like real numbers in your hands instead of just oh I just drew this by hand and it looked nice and who knows if that actually is where that building is um, so um, that one is really helpful and super easy uh, you can do that quick and there's no need to kind of worry about the other stuff if you have other stuff over overlapping and you don't want to see this we can kind of just disable this one for now uh, and then just like we did before if you look here we get the view rows coming out um, as a surface you can see the blocked views or curves and then visible angle so you could put surface I think here and put that in and so now we could bake that and if you wanted to like make it like bigger you could then use that to kind of like loft it up or start creating things with that um, and then you can get the blocked views as curves so you would just need to start typing curve and plug that in and so now we have those if we want to bake those and do stuff with them more surface and so this one is really quick really easy and where it gets powerful is when you start moving that point around your site and it does all the work for you you can literally just keep baking so you move it bake that save it move it over bake it save it and then you just have to make sure you remember 
you show it as different analyses and stuff like that. Um, so that one is really easy. So we can move this one over. Let's add this guy to this group. So we got that as, and let's name that um, center point. Because this next one's going to need it. And we want to make sure we're using the same one. Oh, we also didn't set a north direction, which I wanted to show you guys. Um, so these guys, let's just group them and then add a label for them. We said this one is view rows. So that's one. We have the radiation. 